Hear me, the Easterners. God the has Easterners. a message for you. God the has a message. There is a message God has. And as I deliver this message, He will also bring to you your message. Hear me, the Easterners. God has a message for you. The Easterners. The Easterners means the Igbos. For those of you who may be watching from abroad, we mean those from the east part of Nigeria. There are several states that mix up the east. In this series, or in these days we are in, God keeps on giving prophetic message. I think this is about the second message majorly for the Easterners. True of us. True. No message from this altar as long as I have delivered it does not come to pass hence it is called a prophetic message but before I give the easterners this very sweet message it's very sweet oh when God was showing me this message I was very very happy for the easterners before I deliver this message you know we keep on saying this stop doubting the words from the mouth of the prophets stop doing it Doubting the, the words word from the mouths of the prophets. The prophet. There is a prophecy that came to pass. I want you to take a look at this video. We did talk about men of God who once stood on the altar, preached Jesus, turning around and preaching. Some. You need to see some men of God. I shed tears when I watched fathers of faith came out boldly, broad daylight, burnt the Bible. We did prophesy about it on this altar. We passed it as a message the same way we are want to pass this message now. Just take a look at this video. Before, just hold on. As we watch this video, then I will deliver the message to the Easter. Age I received what I saw. It's an I saw. Uh, but this is the prophecy as the Lord Jesus had even delivered himself before he left the earth. I am a pastor, but a prophetic one for that matter. Through this mouth, God has passed message to this great country, Nigeria, to the world, and it has been fulfilled. What is this dragon coming out to do? Number one, to attack ministers. Pray for your pastors. Pray for the fathers of faith. The same fathers of faith who are preaching holiness, who are preaching repentance. You remember this prophecy? Who are preaching yes. Jesus. Don't be surprised when you see them stop preaching Jesus. They will start saying something totally different from their first message a dragon from the midst of nigeria you know revival is booming up from africa and the trigger is nigeria true of us now the devil is about fighting these ministers to turn the message around it has started happening some pastors we used to know they are preaching the back side of the messages now so pray and this is a manifestation of the antichrist god tell you jesus christ Pack your things and go. They are telling that Jesus to pack his things and, and go. all your uh, followers, all your ethics that you people are fake. Don't you say Jesus Christ can give us life. Yes, we look for one death transformer so that you stretch your hand on it and pray for the transformer so that the transformer will give us life. So, put on the right. They tell you that. Uh, Bible did not go. If you put it like this, it will not go. But when you tear it one after the other, it will go. So the Bible is just like other novel. If you carry any other book and put it just like this, it will not go. It will go because it come together. So as they come to uh, Africa, come to Jesus Christ, you must pack your things and go. <coughs> Look at it. We are burning it now. Oh. They said if Jesus is truly the light of the world, that Jesus should come and they will look for a dead transformer and come and power the transformer. These are priests, bishops, people who once preach, preach Jesus. Did we give the prophecy now? Did we pass that message on this altar? Yes, sir. God, that one is for them and God. I just play this video to show you that before things happen, we see them. There are still prophets that hear from God. And like I will say every day, there is no day I take the glory. 
that ah, I have the same eye. I have this. No, no, no. The day I brag about it, I will not finish talking. A knock will come from heaven on my head. Hence, he gave me a message for the Igbos, for the Easterners. This is what I saw coming. Many Easterners around the world will be convinced to return resources to develop their states between now and the 10 years. Between now, count from this year to the 10th year, you can go back to this video after 10 years. The Eastern states joined together will be like another Dubai. I'm not talking of Nigeria. I'm talking of the Eastern states will be like another Dubai. 10 years back, go back to this video. If you don't see what I am saying that attracts the world like Dubai attracts people in the eastern say, eastern part of Nigeria, know that all the messages have been delivered and I didn't hear it well. In 10 years, if Jesus tarries, YouTube does not crash. You go back to this video, you will see it. I'm telling you what I saw. That many of us will want to relocate to the eastern states from around the world. They will want to have their headquarters in the eastern states. Do you know why I'm saying this? You know that America, United States of America, is not just one country. Different, different countries makes United States. Now, I am seeing something like that in the eastern states. Look at this, the way God put it. I will read it verbatim, the way he detected it to my ear. In case when it happens. Son, tell the easterners that there is something coming and it is in connotation of something that sounds like a coalition of eastern economic development hear it a coalition of eastern economic what development this is what it means eastern states coming together now the force behind this economic development is as much powerful like the force behind the biafran push behind the biafran ideology are you hearing me now yes, but this one now is not yearning for division whether division comes or not, Biafra comes or not, is not what I'm talking about now. I'm talking about their economy and the development of that geopolitical zone. God gave me something. I saw it written on the wall. Coalition of Eastern Economic Development. Amen. We are states joins together. But in the midst of this one state, out of the states that makes up the Eastern state will lag behind that when they enter that state, they will say, is this one also part of Eastern states? I am giving you complete message. So when that time starts, you see some states developing and one lagging behind. No, that is that one I'm talking about. But as I am telling you, if Jesus tarries, 10 years from now, you will see those who once ran after Abuja, ran after Lagos, ran after Potakot, they will wish that they would have had a land in one of the Eastern states before now. Because I see another Dubai in Eastern states. Hello beloved, you're welcome back to our channel. I brought you an interesting video from Pastor Mike Miracle. And the man of God has a lot to say concerning the Eastern states, which are the Igbos. We're going to get back into this video in a jiffy, but I believe you heard what he has to say. And if you do not understand, please go and rewatch this video. But your girl is here to explain some things based on my own understanding concerning this message concerning this prophetic message given to him by god and him delivering it to the easterners the evils let's use the evils so let's get back into this video first of all there's a video i believe you watch from the beginning of this video i think about two minutes two minutes to three minutes into the video there's something he said he gave a prophecy concerning fathers of faith turning their back on the word of god stop preaching jesus and all that that message was somewhere in february if i have the link i will i will go through it and see if i can just link it below this video he, he strongly says that men of god that have been preaching the rights in the kingdom of god but time will come they will switch from preaching that i believe the video you watch you see um some bishops and some priests and some mass servants and all that they are the ones saying that oh if jesus should come and pack his load and go if jesus truly exists there is no problem let them go and find transformer that is not working so that um 
and Jesus should come and put his hand and fix it so that the thing will start working. Then after that, that is when they will know that God actually, Jesus actually exists and all that. If not, they don't believe in the white man um, religion anymore. They want to go back to their forefathers. Mind you, I'm not against you serving your forefathers or that. That is what you believe that will work for you. Just do it. But condemning other people's or something that you have been preaching for years and then you just turn your back on that and start seeing a whole lot of things, it doesn't sit well with me. I don't know about you, but I want to hear some comments at the comment section below after hearing what those people did or what they say concerning the kingdom of God. Actually, it's like blaspheming or mocking God at the same time because you're saying that oh God holy be cutting son oh bless bless Jesus we are in this this holy week this is when Jesus sacrificed himself for the word for you and I for our sins to be forgiven and then coming across this video it breaks my heart but we are not talking about that today we're going to go into that in a separate video but I just want you to have a clear understanding this is what the man of god is actually preaching and this is what he was telling us he dropped this prophecy somewhere in january and it has already started happening so let's get back into the whole thing that brought us here about the easterners the evils as you all know i believe you've heard a lot from me on this channel concerning the evils has some prophets prophetess and prophet has been dropping video back to back consigning them the evil should go and develop their state but there's a good news i have a good news for you if you watch this video towards seven point something minutes going to eight you hear when the man of god talks about um the evils from various countries are going to come back home to develop their home like never before like it's going to be a force that you've never seen before they're going to make sure that the Igbo states will be well developed that you'll be wishing that oh i need to be here just like the way i see i won't lie I fancy Dubai a lot. I wanted to go there. I wanted to, oh, but after you go there, you see that, oh, actually, see, this thing there is just over a hype. Yes, there are a lot of things that you, you do, activities and all that, but after everything, you see that, oh, this thing is kind of over a hype and all that. But actually, they are selling their market because it's like um a tourist yeah it's a tourist environment that you can go move around the malls and all that to do some shopping and all that <laughs> they entice you with this beautiful building mind you see dubai is not it, it's only those places there are places that even more ghetto than some places in nigeria but they decide to sell out the pictures of those nice places for you and i and we'll fall into that tribe we want to go there you see somebody will save up to three two million just to travel to dubai to be part of those people that will brag and say oh i've been to dubai before and it's nice it's a lovely city that i know that see travel outside that environment travel outside that zone that is when you know that see they are they, they are hiding in plain sight that is just it that is what i'm going to say so that is what the man of god is trying to tell us that the evil states are going to be well developed because these people are going to join forces together to build the state to develop this state to a point that People cannot resist not to come there. But in the midst of that, one particular state is going to be left behind. We don't know which particular state is going to be left behind. We know there are so many states that makes up the eastern states, that makes up the evil states in Nigeria. They are not just one particular state like, oh, you see that there are other states that are just this particular state. But there are a lot of states there and the Yorubas and the Hausa. That is why there are the three major languages in Nigeria. Um, you see that we have more than two, three states that make up this eastern states, that make up the Igbo, and they speak one language, just like the Yorubas, the Hausa, and all that. You, you see a lot of states, but they speak one particular language. But in other states, the case 
may not be the same it's just one state with one particular ethnic group of people there that is all but the evils the eastern states and the yorubas and the houses are just total different from that so that is what the man of god is trying to say he says that this state will be so developed in a way that um people cannot resist you'll be wishing that your bought properties and all that please at a pause here if you don't have a property in any of the Igbo state please my dear brothers and sister why don't you run now because it says in the next 10 years we are going to come back here to testify i just want somebody to drop comment here and every year you come to this video to like your comment for the next 10 years so that you see it because he said this movement is going to happen from now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten to the tenth years that is going to come you'll be like oh my goodness am i alive to actually witness this because it's something that is going to blow your mind so i pray that each and every one of us that is watching this video or you come across this video in two years three years four years five years six years seven years eight years and the ninth and the tenth years my dear brothers and sister you're welcome to the tenth year when you come across this video by that time and i pray that we're alive to see this time so please if you don't have property if you don't have a piece of land if you don't have anything in the evil states please why don't you rush and go and get one to a voice story that breaks the heart to a voice story that touches the heart honestly because when that time come i just want to see that beautiful 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 environment and all that that tourism will be taking place and all that and a lot of incomes will be made and mind you he says that whether biafra or nigeria the states are going to join forces together so we should forget whether biafra happens or not that is it so i don't know what you're thinking some people will come to the comment section and say that so far is not biafra i'm not interested so far is not this i'm not interested my dear brothers and sister pico 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 may churn or guinea one so please let's embrace change for once let this development happen and honestly to put smile on people's mind and all that and at the end of everything you will see that when these things happen it happens for good it happens for our own benefit because a lot of awareness will be creating and a lot of development a lot of financial stability will be created for these people from this particular ethnic group and not just that but to the world and to nigeria and to african at large so just imagine that there's another city or state that are competing with dubai <laughs> come on it's over for you <laughs> it's over for you dubai so that is what is going to happen at the end of the day but who am i i just say let me bring this video your way and please if you have not subscribed to our channel oh oh my goodness what am i even saying <laughs> and you're still here guys why don't you just pause this video subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever we drop a new video because maybe girl will be bringing you a lot of video back to back this month of april and mind you don't forget all the prophecies that are being given to us the month of april i'm going to bring you a lot of updates at the end of the day so don't worry we are entering see as much as anything like this we are entering april with signed mine and a whole lot of things so guys i want to call it a day but i'm going to see you in my next one but this is just a mind-blowing video thank you very much for watching bye mm -hmm.